absolutely no morning is complete without coffee. Two sugars and two creams. Almost ready. Now I can get started. Okay, guys, I had to get some coffee before I started. Uh, nothing is better in the morning than a cup of coffee to get your day started. Okay, guys, I was trying to think of something that I can make quick and easy this morning for you for breakfast. I got it. Mexican breakfast pizza. Yes. Okay. We are going to make a wonderful little pizza this morning for breakfast. It's something quick and something easy you can make before church, right? Okay, so we are going to get started. But before we do, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, right? Give me a thumbs up, guys. Hit that notification button so that you're notified when I upload a video. And we can get this party started, right? Okay, guys. I am ready to cook for you this morning. Let's get started. Welcome to Brandon's Kitchen. Okay, lovely people. What we're going to use for our beautiful Mexican breakfast pizza this morning, we're going to use some Tennessee Pride sausage patties. Use your favorite, guys. That's just the kind I always buy. We're going to use some flour tortilla shells, our mozzarella and provolone cheese mix. We're going to use some real bacon bits, guys. We're going to throw on a little bit of our fresh cilantro salsa, a couple of eggs, and onions. Now, guys, just like with any pizza, put on your pizza what you like. If you don't want all of these things, don't add it. But if you like it, let's go with it together. Let's get started, guys. We're going to go over here to the stove and start sauteing our beautiful sausage. Okay, guys, in our skillet, we have our beautiful little sausage patties cooking away. And guys, we're just going to flip these guys once and crunch them up in the uh, skillet. <laughs> and this is really easy to do, guys. These things cook in about two minutes. Very simple and easy. Give those about one more little minute to cook. They look done to me and yummy. Okay, guys, I've taken our little sausage out of the pan and set it aside. And guys, before I even started those sausages, I had a little bit of olive oil in our pan. So all I did was remove the sausages, like I said, and set them aside. And we're going to cook our egg in the same pan. We're not going to wash it. We're just going to let that wonderful sausage oil and olive oil mix together cook our beautiful eggs. And guys, we want to cook these softly. We don't want to scramble them hard at all because they are going back in the oven for just a few seconds. And guys, notice I'm being very lazy this morning. We are using plastic ware this morning because I don't want to wash dishes. Okay, guys, we're going to give that a few minutes to cook. And again, scramble them softly to go on our beautiful pizza.
Don't those look yummy? And guys, we're just going to scramble these, scramble these, sorry, slowly and just enough until they are solidified. Again, we're going to cook those again in the oven because we have to melt that beautiful cheese on our pizza. All done. Okay, guys, let's put our beautiful little pizzas together. Let's start with some of that beautiful cilantro salsa. We're just going to put it on the bottom. And guys, this has a little bit of liquid in it, so we're not going to put a bunch because we crisp up our little flour tortilla shell, so we don't want those to get soggy. So just a bit at the bottom here. That looks so wonderful already, doesn't it? All right, guys, a little bit more. Okay, let's grab some of our beautiful sausage. And guys, I'm just gonna use my hands. This is just easier. I just wanna be able to feel what we're putting on here. Look at that. Try to distribute it ev evenly, guys, and equally. So every pizza has a wonderful little bit of that sausage on there. And guys, if you notice, I'm not going to the edge. I'm going to put the cheese on and I don't want it to kind of go everywhere. So we're just trying to get it in the center as best we can. And that looks and smells amazing. Beautiful. Now we're going to go in with some of those beautiful little bacon bits, guys. And guys, I'm not giving you any measurements on this because, again, I told you before when we made our deep dish pizza, this is based upon your taste, what you want to taste in your pizza and how much of it you want to taste in there. So you use your own judgment. And guys, put whatever you want on your pizza. You know that. This is what I am choosing for my pizza this morning, but you can choose whatever you like. Okay, and guys, we're going to throw in a couple of onions on each one. Probably about three for me. And I'm going to say it again, guys, if you don't like onions, just don't put this on. Cute. Okay. Let's throw on some of our beautiful little eggs. And remember, guys, we cook these pretty softly so that they could... Spread on there nice and easily. And don't be screamish. If it's not cooked enough for you, that's okay. Remember, this is going in the oven and it's going to cook a little bit more. That looks absolutely wonderful, guys. I don't know about you, but I am ready to taste this. Oh my goodness, that looks so wonderful, doesn't it? And last but not least, guys, let's get some of this beautiful provolone cheese and mozzarella mix on top. Beautiful. And guys, as much cheese as you like. Absolutely beautiful. And you know I need to run over here real quick, guys, and grab my little bowl because that is where my chives live. A little bit of chives on the top to finish off our beautiful little pizzas. To the oven we go. Guys, look at our beautiful little pizzas. How cute. Okay. Let's cut one, see what it looks like. That pan is still hot, guys. I just took it out, so let's see if we can get one off. Oh, look at that. They are perfect, guys. Cute, right? Okay, let's give it a little cut. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, nothing left to do but try it, guys. Let's go back over here. Guys, check out our cute little pizza that we made this morning. Well, how cute.
cute is that? And guys, I put a little sour cream on there and a little bit more of our cilantro salsa. Look at that cute little pizza. Right? Okay. Let's give it a taste, why don't we? Okay. Father, we just want to say thank you this morning, Lord. Thank you for this food that you have allowed us for the nourishment of our body. In your precious son's name, we pray, Lord. Amen. Okay, guys, I'm pretty excited. Let's give it a shot. Looks amazing. Look at that. So cute. Look at that. And guys, put what you want on yours. This is just what I had on hand and what I wanted to taste. So let's give it a shot. See. That is wonderful. Mm. Beautiful cilantro uh, sauce on there, guys. You know I have to grab a paper towel. Got wonderful little moist egg on there. All of our bacon and our sausage. This is yummy. Mm. All that gooey cheese. Mmm. That is amazing. Let's taste the bit with the sour cream. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious, right? Let's see. Mm. That is yummy. Mm. Hear the crunch? That's why we put our little uh, tortilla shells in the oven first to get them nice and crunchy. Can't have a soggy pizza, right? Mmm. That is delicious, you guys. You should really try, try it. Really wonderful. Mmm. And quick. It only stayed in the oven for about, give or take, 10 or 15 minutes. Nice little wonderful quick breakfast, guys. 15 minutes in the oven. 15 minutes for us to assemble this. This is a wonderful little breakfast that you can make. I'm on my way to church, so I got to go and get dressed. But this was quick. Took me about 30 minutes to make it. Perfect breakfast. Thank you, guys. I just wanted to show you something quick and easy this morning. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Don't forget, comment, like, and share. And don't forget to subscribe. See you the next time, guys. Bye. Thank you.